In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Elgato Stream Deck to have full control over your OBSBOT cameras. So let's get on with it. To get started, all you will need is the OBSBOT plugin from the Elgato Stream Deck Marketplace, and you can get that here just by clicking on this icon. It's going to take you to the Elgato Stream Deck Marketplace, and you'll just type in OBSBOT from here, and you will just need to download this plugin. Hit the Open in Stream Deck, and it's going to install it straight away to your Stream Deck. You can see here that I've already got mine set up. So let's show you how to connect these together and show you what you can actually do with this control. Once you've installed the OBSPOT plugin from the Elgato Marketplace, you will come over to your Stream Deck software, and you can see here that we've got the OBSPOT webcam plugin and under that you will see three specific actions one is to set the webcam the second one is to adjust and the third is to reset now each of these actions have different parameters that you can configure i'm not going to go through all of them today that will take too long but i'm going to show you some of the ones that i generally use to get these actions to work with your Stream Deck, it's a simple case of clicking and dragging, just like every action on the Stream Deck. So the first one I'm going to pick is the Set Webcam Action. I'm just going to drag it into a spare button that I have here on my Elgato Stream Deck Plus. These actions are going to work with any Stream Deck, and obviously there's different settings and parameters depending on the buttons that you have with your Stream Deck. But I'll show you a couple of examples right now. So you'll see once you've dragged in your action to a button, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is select which OBSBOT camera you want this control to reference. And in my case, I've got three set up at the moment, and I'll show you those in a second. I've got the Tiny2 4K and two Tail Air OBSBOT cameras. First of all, I'm going to select the Tiny2. And then down at the bottom, you'll see that there are a number of different properties that you can configure with this action. So for the Tiny2, you can see here there is a ton of things. You can click and specifically call out a preset that you set in terms of where your camera wants to be. This is the one I use the most because it's really useful. Then you have zoom, view, and so on. You can actually change and configure a ton of different things with this camera. So let's select the first one, which is preset position. Now, if you've used the OBSBOT software before, you know that the OBSBOT camera can be set to three specific positions, which is great for setting up your camera in your studio environment if you want to switch and pan to a different view. So I've got my tiny 4K set up to two different settings. I'm going to select a preset position number two and now i'm going to switch to the cameras that i've got set up here so you can see that i've got the tail um the tiny 4k here sorry the tail uh there and then i've got my stream deck set up here with the other obspot camera to show you when i press a button so if you remember i've just set my uh stream deck button now to go to position two for the tiny 4k so if i press my stream deck button you'll see now that the tiny 4K has moved down to this area here, which is one of the preset buttons that I've set, which is really cool. If I do a copy and paste on the Stream Deck, if I do a copy and paste here, I'm going to now put this back to position number one. And you can see actually on the Stream Deck that it numbers the buttons depending on the preset that you've got set. I'm just gonna click mine across. So if I hit preset number one, now the tiny, 4K goes back to the original preset button. So isn't that great for switching different settings and presets for your tiny 4K camera? And this is obviously going to work with the tail air as well. So let's quickly do that. Let's go back to the Stream Deck setup. So this is for the tiny for uh, this is for the tiny 4K. So I'll just do tiny 4K and give it a label so I know when I'm actually pressing these that we know which one it's for, tiny 4K. And now let's copy and paste these, but reference the OBSBOT tail air camera. So I'll just paste that and paste that. And now I'm gonna change this to the uh, tail air. Rename this one the same, tail air. And now I'm going to change my positions and webcam. So I'm going to select the tail uh, webcam here, which is this one. 
and I'm going to select the property, which is going to be preset position. And I'm going to set preset position one. And then on here, I'm going to do tail air and preset position number two. You'll also notice that the buttons have changed color, indicating that this is a different camera. So let's go to this now. And if I press this button number two, it's going to, as you can see, I've got a preset where it zooms in and pans slightly on my face. We don't want to see too much of a close up of that. So let's press back to number one and it'll quickly switch back. And this is the other Taylor camera that I've got here. So straight away, you can control two different cameras independently by just pressing these buttons with the Stream Deck. How cool is that? Let's put these back to their position. And let's talk about how you can reset positions with a single click of a button using the Stream Deck multi-action. So in the previous example, I showed you how to configure a single Stream Deck button to action a preset within an individual Obspot camera. But what if you wanted to move both cameras at the same time? Well, you can with a single button using the multi-action within your Stream Deck. So if you find the multi-action list here over on your Stream Deck software, click a multi-action into a spur button on your Stream Deck. And then we'll go to the set webcam plugin within the Obspot webcam setup here. Let's find our webcam that we want. In this case, the Tiny 2 4K. We'll select the property again, which is preset position. And then I'm going to set mine to position number two. I'll just copy and paste that same action, but this time selecting a different camera the tail air, as we did before, the same property, preset position, and then position number two. So now if I go over to my cameras, you'll see that we've got the tiny 4K here and the Obspot tail air there. And we've got our button here on the Stream Deck. So if I just press this, you'll see now that both cameras will switch to the position of preset two, which is what we had before, but having to do that individually. I'm just going to click the respective individual camera buttons to put them back. So again, a really simple way of moving both cameras at the same time with a single multi-action using your Stream Deck plugin. So let's take a look at a few other things you can do with this Obspot webcam plugin for your Elgato Stream Deck. Let's go back to the Stream Deck setup. And this time, I'm going to zoom in using the rotary control on my Stream Deck Plus. Now you can do this with the standard button and I'll show you how to do that as well. If I click on one of the rotary controls on the Stream Deck Plus, you'll see that the menu on the right has changed. And all this is going to do is show you what actions are available for this type of physical button. Not all actions are going to be available for the specific button that you select. This is a rotary control with a push, so there are certain things that are not available. But in this case, we are going to drag the adjust webcam into one of our rotary controls, and we have the same set of menus. Select which webcam you want. I'm going to select the Tiny2 4K, and then I'm going to select the property, which is zoom in this case. And then you've got another property, which is the incremental steps. How coarse do you want the zoom to appear as you turn the rotary control? I'm going to set it and leave it at plus one, but you can set it to plus five, plus 10 and so on. So let's leave it at plus one and let's go now over to our other screen where we have our cameras. So I'm going to be looking at the tiny 4K and down at the bottom here with the rotary control, you'll see that it's got a little zoom icon and function on here to show you the level of zoom. And I'm just going to now turn slowly the rotary control. And hopefully you can see that the camera is zooming in using the rotary control. Super duper. So it's really easy for me to control this using the rotary control. You could assign it also to a button. So let me show you how to do that. Let's go back. Let's take the same adjust webcam action here and put that into one of the buttons. You can select the specific webcam, the tiny two, and then let's select the property, which is zoom. Now here on this button, you'll see that there's a plus menu. So as you keep pressing the button, that's going to incrementally zoom it in. But what if you wanted to zoom back out again? Well, you can do that by copying and pasting the same button 
And instead of making it a plus value, just make it a negative value. And you can also show the current value actually on the key. So you can see it's set to zero on here. I'm going to leave that off for now. Let's go back to the cameras. And all I'm going to do is press the up and down. So I'm going to press plus and it's going to incrementally zoom in by me pressing the button on the Stream Deck, as you can see. And then I'll zoom back out again to the zero value. So again, another way of controlling your OBSBOT camera using the Elgato Stream Deck. Let's take a look at a couple of other different functions. Another way of controlling the camera's pan and tilt function is to use the gimbal controls with your Stream Deck to move the camera up, down, left and right. Similar what you can do with the iPhone or the OBSPOT software on your system. So let's show you how to do that. If we go back over to the Stream Deck, I'm going to create a brand new Stream Deck page because I just want to show you that you will need to have four buttons assigned for this specifically. So let's go and do set webcam again and let's drag this into here. And now we're going to pick the OBSBOT tail air and we're going to select the gimbal move as our property value. Now you can see here that we can move the gimbal up, down, left and right. So let's move it up and I'm just going to drag this over to here. Uh, I'm going to copy this and put that down there. And now I'm going to make this one down and you can see what I'm doing here. Let's do another one, make this one left and then paste this one again and make that right. So what we've got now is a series of controls that can move the gimbal up, down, left and right for the specific camera. In this case, it's going to be the tail air. So let's go back over to our cameras. And the one I'm going to be adjusting is the tail air. And I'm just going to be moving this left and right by clicking on the Stream Deck buttons. You can also control how fast and slow these buttons move within the OBSPOT software itself. But as you can see right now, all I'm doing is simply just clicking on the Stream Deck and changing the gimbal moves. If I go back to my other page on my Stream Deck, I'm going to now set the position back with the OBSPOT to position number one. And you can see just pressing that button simply resets the position of the OBSPOT camera. Another great way of controlling the OBSPOT with your Elgato Stream Deck. Other functions you can use the Stream Deck for to control your OBSPOT cameras are things like record and the color, hue, brightness, and so on of the cameras. So let's take a quick look at how you would do that. Let's go back to the Stream Deck and we'll pick our OBSPOT uh, webcam plugins. We'll click on the set webcam, drag that into a free button. You know the deal by now. Let's pick a camera, the tail air, and then let's find the record on and off function. So if I go now to my cameras, you won't actually see anything on the screen. <clears throat> but if I press this button on the Stream Deck, it will beep and that will initiate the recording on the tail air. Taylor is now flashing to tell me that it's recording. If I press that button again, you may be able to hear the little beep telling me that the tail hair has started recording. But what if we wanted to control the sort of saturation, the brightness and the sort of image of the camera? Well, we can do that as well. And depending on what kind of stream deck you've got, I prefer to have those controls set up on these rotary dials here because it's much easier to dial in the brightness and color, but you can do that with the plus and minus buttons on a standard Stream Deck. So let's click on adjust the webcam and drag that into one of our controls here. I'm going to pick the tiny 2 4K in this case, and I'm going to select the property, which is the saturation. So saturation is, is the color. And you can basically do this by steps again, plus five, plus one. I'm going to do it by plus five steps now. So when I go over to my camera, we're going to be looking at the tiny 4K, which is here. I'm going to now turn this down and you can see that it's basically adjusting the saturation on the camera, turning me into black and white and so on. So let's get that back to a saturation of 50, which is where it was before. But obviously you can dial these in yourself the same with brightness contrast and any other of the image quality settings 
on the camera. So you can change this. Uh, let's go and see what else we've got. We've got sharpness, hue, manual focus and temperature. Now temperature is great because if you don't want to set the automatic white balance, then you can dial in your color temperature based on what you have in your studio. So that's another great feature. We've already looked at zoom. You can do contrast and sharpness and so on. One other useful function I found using the Elgato Stream Deck to control the OpSpot cameras is reverse or flip the image. Now, depending on what type of software that you use, if you're using this for streaming or video conferencing, some of the video conferencing softwares actually flip your image. So you might want to flip that image back to make sure that you're not reversed. And you can do that with a single button control with the Stream Deck. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Let's go back to our Stream Deck and let's pick the set webcam function. Let's drag it into one of our spare buttons. Let's pick the tiny to 4K, but this will work on the tail air as well. Let's just click on that. And then we were looking for something called uh, image flip horizontally. So what that means is the image now will be flipped around by the by the touch of a button. So let's move on to our cameras. We're looking at the tiny 4K, which is this. I'm going to touch the button here. And then my image is reversed. So depending on the type of software that you're using, you may want to have this actioned in here. And again, using something like a multifunction button will be able for you to just use that with multiple cameras. So you can flip the image on all the cameras that you have in one go. As you can see, I'm just scratching the surface with the number of things that you can do and the configurations that you can set up with all your OBSPOT cameras to be controlled by your Elgato Stream Deck. Don't forget, you've got the Stream Deck pedal, you've got the smaller Stream Decks, the one on the iPad, you can have the Stream Deck Plus. There's so many different hardware combinations that you can use to control your cameras. And there is no real limit on the number of cameras that you can control using these plugins. You just have to make sure that they're all configured and set up on your machine, and therefore you can then control them. As long as your PC or Mac can see the cameras within the plugin, then you can control them with no problem using the Elgato Stream Deck software. I've also created a couple of videos on Elgato Stream Deck plugins for other resources. And if you want to know a little bit more about how to configure and set up your OBSPOT cameras, then click on the description below or you'll see a video pop up right now where you can click on it and learn a little bit more. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.